crush your enemies. See them driven before you. They hear the lamentation of the women. My eyes have been open. Let me help you to see, Slayer. This is a full disclaimer. If you are a fan or follower of LTG and you don't like seeing him exposed, you might as well click off now because odds are you won't like what I have to say and you probably won't listen anyway. I'll be providing my reasoning as to why Dale Wilson won't fight anybody in real life. As for the rest of this video, I will be referring to LTG as Dale Wilson. Oh, and if you're watching this Dale and you want to try and disprove anything in this video, I would appreciate it if you don't just do this. <laughs> and at least attempt to refute what I have to say. But we all know you won't. Stay free, Dale. One last thing before I begin. This is all purely informational and to show what a bully and a coward Dale really is. I'll be breaking up the video into various sections so it's easier to navigate. Also, if you haven't seen the documentary that June the King made, I suggest you watch it, as it is very well made and informative. But for those here that have no idea who Dale Wilson is, don't worry, I've got you covered. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Look at this! Come here, come here, come here! What? I can do that too. But if you post up an address and you try to pull up, I'm gonna kill you. So it doesn't matter. They can post whatever the fuck they want, and they'll die if they ever see me in person. Fuck it. Look at this fucking man. I tell you, I ever find out who you are at a tournament, I'm gonna beat the living dog shit out of you, motherfucker. I swear to God. Anybody comes to me with some racist shit and I find out who you are in person at a tournament, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. You fucking dumbass. Who the fuck is this dude? What the fuck does me being black have to do with fucking hitting the eject button? I swear, man. I can't wait to get my hands on a racist motherfucker. <laughs> Tell you, man. I fucking hate fucking racist people, especially these online cowards. Say it to my fucking face. I'm gonna remember this dude's name. I swear. I catch you at this tournament, I'm going to beat the living fuck out of you. I'm not playing. I'm going to throw, I'm going to pick your ass up, slam you, I'm going to ragdog you like a fucking worthless ass skinny human being. Nah, what I'm going to do is tie him up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie him up. I'm going to bound him. I'm going to pay for rocks to get a flight wherever the fuck we're at. Forcefully stick his BBC Junior in his mouth back and forth and just stroke his grill so he can catch a hard on over and over again and just fuck his throat. Why he can't do shit. Get all the fluids out of it. He's gonna stroke his throat so crazy. This nigga's gonna throw up his last two meals. And Rox ain't gonna give a fuck. He gonna keep using his throat for friction. And bust a hot load down his throat while he chokes and gargles. And we keep him tied up. And the nigga's actually gonna die from choking on ejaculation from Rox. Then after that, Rox is actually gonna bend him over. After his decease. Put on... One of those fucking regular magnums, not the XLs, because he hadn't graduated to those. And just stroke this nigga's carcass, period. Until he bust a second and third nut all in his dead ass. That's what the fuck's gonna happen. Necrophilia, baby. And keep fucking stream sniping me, you fat, guzzling, black ass, ugly nigga. Now, you guys seen that, that, uh, remember, you know that, that fucking coon ass nigga? The Nikolai fag? So, this nigga's channel got nuked. Because we made sure we sent numerous flags to that bitch. And somebody sent me one of his tweets saying that he's going to make another channel. Now, mind you, I've killed three of his channels already. So whenever you guys find out his new channel, send me the link. We'll take care of it to him. I'll let his videos rack up. Then I'm going to flag the fuck out of them all at one time and kill the channel. So if you're watching my stream, you sorry, bitch-ass, worthless spook, ugly-ass nigga. Best believe I'm going to flag your shit again. I really, this is what I need you niggas to do. I haven't went live in a couple days. So these niggas been waiting to say something. For all the people that's been waiting to say something for me to go live, kill yourselves. I mean that with 100%, not 99.9 .9 anything. I'm dead ass telling you to kill yourself. Now I know what you're all thinking. 
Doesn't this look like some sort of terrible wrestling promo? Dale is trying extra hard to be the worst heel of all time, while believing himself to be some sort of superstar with exceptional mic skills and tough as nails attitudes such as The Rock, Stone Cold, or Shawn Michaels. The crushing reality is that he's basically just another James Ellsworth, a literal human crash test dummy, a jobber meant for squash matches and to show what real superstars are capable of, and to build up the actual talent that's on the roster. So Dale is to the FGC what Ellsworth is to the WWE. Or at least he would be if he was still a part of it since he's been banned from EVO and all Capcom events indefinitely. And honestly, they didn't lose much at all. He's not skilled in fighting games, more of a speed bump, a scrub, a laughing stock, a complete joke. That is why nobody in the FGC has ever taken him seriously. He rage quits when he loses, which happens quite often. Yet he believes himself to be a skilled player, but never placed in any tournament, and drowned in pools more often than not. When he loses on stream, he tends to go on tirades of why he shouldn't be losing matches, often blaming everything but his own lack of skill. Let me show you how free I am. Boom. <laughs> that was shit. Boom. They're, they're messing jobs either because they are a scrub. Boom. You rage quit. Boom. And look at this guy. Boom. Boom. Look at this big ass. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna dab on you every single time I get the win. Oh. You gotta get that ass banned. I say get that ass beat. Plant scrubs. This is why I don't like fucking plant scrubs. How in the fuck did that sloppy? Oh yeah, I had no respect for some garbage ass, whack ass, sloppy doing any fucking thing he can to do whatever the fuck. Don't know the rules of shit. No meaties, no nothing. That's funny to you? Get that ass banned, bitch. Dude didn't react to shit. He he prayed that it would work. I told you it was him! You didn't believe me! I told you! Is that guy a known rage quitter? The Covenant. You know who calls their community the Covenant? Who? Oh, God. <laughs> I told you! I knew it! I if you wanted that? undeniable proof! There it is! I don't know. No, I think it's somebody else. You think else. it's an homage? I think, think yes. You know how there's serial killers and there's the yeah. serial killers? He's emulating what's yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a copycat <laughs> serial killer. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by the cleanliness. It wasn't the same. I don't, well, you would know. You would both know. I don't know, because when I played uh, him, I was, Yeah, it was on his real account. Oh, never mind. Well, no, I'm just saying. That's, that's, that's disheartening. That's actually disappointing. I don't like to see rage quits at all. Now we all know this is poor sportsmanship and cowardly behavior. Choosing to close the application to not give the opponent the points they deserve. Well that's not the only time he acts like a coward. Since everything he does is on stream, he promptly privates or deletes his stream afterwards so he can hide all the times he's broke in terms of service, which includes, but isn't limited to, harassment and doxing. Uh, even to the niggas picture, uh, the guy I showed his house on fucking um on the stream and was roasting his house. Listen, if you're watching my stream, you probably still gonna hate me and I don't give a fuck. But if you're watching my stream and it really p pissed you off and fucked with you that I Google Maps the crib, I, that was that was anybody's house. I don't know if it was yours or what. Oh my God, LTG's doxing me. But you basically allude, tried to allude everything. Yeah, nigga, you're in deep shit. Somebody clip this shit and send it to him. You're paying me, bitch ass nigga. Moving on, Dale claims to possess what he calls the God Angel Gene. To have this gene, apparently you have to be 6 foot 5 or taller and have a great physique and traits. Well, let's just give him the height and say he is 6 foot 5, even though that's not really that tall comparatively, judging by these pictures. Maybe he's counting the very top of his nappy hair, fashioned in a way to try and copy the fresh prints with that messed up burst fade. Also, even though he takes steroids, his legs are so skinny 
They would put Tiny from Crash Bandicoot to shame. He can't even properly grow a beard. Must be the lack of testosterone. Talk about low tier genetics. I mean, there has been supplements that you can buy on the shelf of GNC. Alright guys, just left GNC. Got a couple samples too, man. They treat me good over there. Alright guys, I'm back. I just went ahead and injected my steroids real quick. I just go ahead and get a Red Bull, man. I'm not even supposed to be drinking these wow. due to, you know, my kidneys not being too great. <laughs> And I just spilled the shit all in my fucking seat. Now, I'm getting a bit off topic. This isn't a video roasting Dale after all. But don't worry, that video is on its way as well. Because believe me, Dale is nowhere near the perfect being he proclaims himself to be. And there is no shortage of roasting material there, both physically and mentally. So Dale does have a following which he calls the Covenant. Totally not a stolen name or design. The reason I mention this is because Dale never takes things head on. He hides behind his pathetic little cults of yes men which are not allowed to disagree or have an opinion in fear of getting banned regardless of the platform. Now it's apparent that most are kids and teens that don't know any better, most likely don't have a father figure in their lives. Some have even gone as far as to call Dale a father figure. Many of these fans are delusional and follow Dale blindly, using his own logic to defend him and can't think for themselves. They believe that he can do no wrong. As for the kids and teens, I understand. They look up to him, thinking that he is a tough guy that they can emulate. But then they try to be like him in school and get bullied. Hold on, did you say my merch was bully magnets? Let me get an 80 thou on that Jordan Love dude. I don't sell I don't sell out in an under an hour for That's how I know you lack swag. Let me get 80 thou on that dude. Thank you. 80 thou that guy. I, that dude was a complete moron. I sell things you can wear on dates. I'm pretty sure you dress like garbage. All Under Armour, you worthless cucks. All Under Armour, you worthless cucks. Sick of you dumbass trolls jacking off these whack ass troll videos. Always trying to say something, bitch. Endless Under Armour, bitch. <laughs> That's because it's all talk online. None of what Dale says is real. He makes it all up. It's like being the oldest kid in the room. He wants that false validation of them believing he's the coolest, the toughest, the most knowledgeable. But that's all a fallacy. These kids could look up to anybody else that won't lie to them, berate them, or just e-beg. Because in reality, that's all they are to him. A donation. On Twitch, I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> Unless you donate or toss me some bits or fucking or or subscribe or give some subs i'm sorry guys i can't say a fucking thing like i'm just gonna game i'm gonna act like basically i'm talking to myself like if you niggas have anything else to do i keep telling you niggas to sacrifice yourselves like if you're in my in my stream trolling with the gay shit, just kill yourselves. Sacrifice yourself, we told you. You can't be organ donors. There's something for you. I timed you because you keep saying stupid ass shit. And I'm about to remove your mind shit. You said you see how it is? Excuse me? I don't give a fuck what you was joking about, nigga. You typed that corny ass shit twice. I'm not checking no fucking Instagram DMs. Y'all niggas leave me the fuck alone, man. Let me fucking stream. Bitch ass niggas, stop typing the same fucking shit before I remove you niggas and ban you. That niggas with gym shit know better. Stop fucking bothering me about lame ass shit. You fucking childlike ass niggas. Talking about check your fucking DM nigga. Did it show that you purchased merch? Or pledged? Fucking bitch ass niggas. I feel like I'm in the mood to crush a lot of gyms tonight. Keep that shit up. Like I say, y'all niggas, get your gems crushed, it'll be somebody right behind you that, that goes green. It don't matter to me. It's up to you niggas. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas acting like bitches, nigga. Hey, take my gym, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Like, niggas, your shit cracked. Damn, y'all niggas acting like bitches. Relax. God damn, what is up with you fucking gay-ass niggas tonight, man?
Niggas be acting like pussies, bro. If it ain't if it's cracked by Jim, y'all take this to Jerry. Oh, TJ, let me hold 500. Nigga, if I'm sitting here ignoring it and I didn't fucking respond, don't you get the fucking signal and message? Tell you, man, Nate, I'm th human beings, bro. No, I don't have no fucking OnlyFans. Why don't you niggas follow fucking directions, you dumb fuck? Nigga, I have the OnlyFans logo because when you click on the actual shit, you dumb, retarded ass fuck, it'll literally show you that there's a video that you click on. That's the literally the cover photo to... Do y'all dumbass niggas know how Instagram works? Why the fuck would I have an OnlyFans as much shit as I talk about with OnlyFans? I'm telling you, man, y'all niggas... See, you, you see what the problem is? The fact that you niggas are so fucking illiterate. The, I'm telling you, the average human being is fucking stupid. When I go to Walmart and I'm trying to get through self-checkout quick, it's a bunch of dumbass niggas in line that still don't know how to use fucking self-checkout. You're one of those niggas that don't know how to use self-checkout. Scan, put the item down, and go. If you got multiple items, scan, put the item on the shit. Scan, put the item on the shit. Scan, put the item on the shit. As an educator, I do feel sorry for these kids and teens fooled by Dale. I do hope they mature and see past Dale's lines. But those that are adults, that believe everything Dale says and spend their money supporting him, most are definitely beyond help and clearly have the IQ of goldfish. It's no wonder why Dale streams and only talks openly on his platforms, which is predominantly Twitter and YouTube, where nobody is allowed to refute what he says. He bans anyone with the slightest hint of disapproval or disagreement. He cannot handle any sort of opposition or criticism. But with a cult that is comprised of simple-minded people that are easily manipulated and blindly agree with him, it's easy to see why he thinks he's anything more than a pathetic sociopath. Now, he has the right to run and moderate his stream however he wishes, but this toxic fanbase takes Dale's words to heart and believe everything he says, no matter how idiotic. And he uses that to weaponize them, whether it's to flag channels, harass people, or even spread doxing information, which one of his mods have openly admitted to. Given what kind of person Dale is, he not only makes up false narratives, but also often gives his fans terrible advice, telling them not to live in simulation working a regular 9 to 5 job. Yeah, that was it. It, it was just the drone 9 to 5, like, work or school, come home, play games, and that's it. And I, I, I wasn't happy. I felt stuck. I felt just, it just didn't feel right. While he himself works at GNC. Somebody should show his manager this shit, man. People are trying to get supplements, clown ass nigga. Get your bitch ass from out the back. Jaden, look at your master, man. <laughs> Furthermore, Ale says not to trust any woman and to always chase a bag and that love is a fallacy while he himself was simping over his ex. Suck the toe! Hold on, let me get- Suck the toe! You moving it, I can't do shit. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. <laughs> you know, shut up. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically uh, what's going on right now. But I mean, if I was gonna, you know what I'm saying, wipe somebody, I mean, you guys already know what it is. I mean, you see my streams, you know how I get out. Um, like he's I, still in love with me, basically, is what he's trying to say. I mean, I... So Dale is basically a hypocritical broken record. He pretends to value life, and has previously made a few videos where he speaks on people that have ended their lives. How many people watch the news, or hear about news on the daily, of people killing themselves? Based off of the words and actions of things that people do, hold on, not people, cowards do. Now let's talk about other people's mental stability before we talk about mine. This was just completely disgusting. You should never, ever react to a video of somebody getting killed on camera. The fact that you would cover somebody being murdered not just cover, but react to a video 
of a gunshot going off, ending someone's life, taking someone's soul. And then on top of that, guys, if you check the video, it's monetized. So you're running ads. You're running ads on a video that was meant to be shown for awareness to try to capitalize off your revenue. I understand you got a family to feed, that's fine. But some videos you just don't monetize. You deserve to be roughed up in a sense that this is just ridiculous. You can't sit here and exploit someone's death for your own personal gain. You are not a part of the FGC, you're not a part of any community. You suck at Street Fighter, I'm sure you do. And he tried to warn us, right? He tried to warn us. Um, and we watched it get worse and worse and worse, but we thought he was getting better. And ultimately, it led to his demise. I am very, very, very upset that we lost a talented, promising dude like Desmond. You said live leak? Here, let me see if I can find that shit. Suicide? Niggas blowing their brains out on TikTok? So what, so we can loop over and over again? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Alright, shit, I had to rewind that shit like five, six times. In disbelief that this nigga blew his brains <laughs> He did whatever he did. Peter Gazer with the honey? Like I said yesterday, the reason why I ultimately laughed at that video is because I honestly think that dude blew his brains out because a bitch told him some shit. Now, if that bitch was like, baby, I love you, he would have never did it. But obviously, I'm, I was laughing at the fact that he did that shit over a bitch. Yeah, so Dale pretends to be sympathetic for views. Dale didn't care for Ronnie McNutt and laughed at his suicide, while with Desmond, he just used him as another means to clout chase, though he'd never admit it. Furthermore, Dale even monetized the video he did on Astroworld. Talk about low-tier hypocrite. Dale has stated numerous times that he's going to be an actor, yet his only notable appearance flopped hard. He was, however, given the opportunity to be on Tosh.0, but this was snatched away from him when Jay Viscount refused to relive the grudge match. And let's be honest, when your acting skills are like this... Actually, I've heard better lyrics, not really my style of hip-hop. Oh, nigga, you's a hater. Her shit fire. Fuck you mean not your style of hip-hop. That's some hater shit. Dad, while I would like for you to reframe from putting your hands on me, listen, um, I repeated it. I'm not sure to be smart, but I repeated it before that this is the reveal of season four of Street Fighter Five. I cannot miss this. Evil thoughts became my soul. Intimates, the darkest and most evil of thoughts. Ah, bitch ass nigga, yo ass is mad. Dad, dad, dad. Well, it's not hard to see why nobody has booked Dale for an acting role. That shit just inspired me to hit the gym even more. Marvel movies and DC movies and shows, here I come. Serious? Dale despises when people start digging into his personal life. Actually, he doesn't like being researched at all. But Dale is a public figure, so it comes with the territory. So as he did with Wings of Redemption and researched him using troll content, shout out to Sean Ranklin. Well, I just had to do my own research the same way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh la la. Whoa, whoa, whoa. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. Dale has stated before that his father, James Wilson, was no longer alive. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. No need to go into details, but Mr. Wilson is alive and well. Dale has also berated his sister openly on Facebook, calling her racial slurs when all she did was try to help him out. It's acts like this that have led Dale to be disowned by his family, and rightfully so. Dale is a habitual liar that just secretes toxicity and negativity. He wasn't even informed when he became an uncle. His nephew was kept a secret from him, and it's not hard to see why people have cut ties with Dale. 
personal. My sister doesn't have any any children, you dumb, worthless ass. Stay the fuck up out of my shit. So, what if you had a sibling that had a kid out of nowhere, and you never even knew your sibling was having a kid? Yeah, I ain't got, yeah, I don't have nothing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, like I said. Yeah, that's just ridiculous shit. I'd love to be an uncle too for the right way. But you don't just, you can't just sporadically have a kid ever tell me shit the whole nine months. And then I'm just supposed to be so excited. That shit ain't got nothing to do with it. Despite all this, Dale somehow still believes himself to be superior to others. A sociopathic narcissist, a bully that only smack talks online, an internet tough guy. But what happens when he gets called out? What happens when somebody accepts one of his many challenges or responds to his threats? Well, now that I've introduced Mr. Dale Wilson, we can move on to the main topic of this video. Which one is it? Who's avoiding what? So you could avoid getting banned. Which one is it gonna be? Oh, you said, oh, I was about to say me? I was gonna say, come on, nigga. Yes, Dale, you do. And I have plenty of evidence to prove it. Alright, let's start this off with the physical beast known as Donovan Hunt. Donovan was an avid supporter of Dale for 3 plus years, as well as a mod for him in his early days of streaming. Now, Donovan's story starts when he was called a racial slur by a fellow mod, Covenant Lazarus. In this altercation, the slur used on Donovan was hard R. So Donovan brought this to Dale's attention, and you can guess how that played out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's how I'm telling you, you can't trust niggas. Not just blacks, you can't trust niggas, simple as that. He was a mob for I don't know how long, got mad because somebody else called him a word he didn't like. Deal with it yourself. You big and bad, you do MMA and you're a wrestler, right? Deal with it yourself, spoo. Needless to say, Donovan Hunt did not appreciate that. It was extremely disrespectful. This is Dale's platform and he allows blatant racism, and it's against someone of his own race as well. But of course, Dale would allow racism on his platform, being a racist himself. What's going on with you, my nigga? You as a black man, me as a black man, what is wrong with your black ass, you fucking monkey? And I would just get this nigga as mad as he can. Whatever the fuck your name is, Spook, Ape, Coon, Moon Cricket, Porch Monkey, uh, Baboon, Gorilla, Black Ghost. What else does this nigga look like? Critters, Nigglet, any black clown you could think of is wrong with this motherfucking monkey. This is what the fuck is wrong with niggas. Apes like this. You sit here, you grind, you hustle, you mind your own business. And this motherfucking monkey got the audacity to hate on me for no reason, nigga. This nigga is a fucking scrub. Fucking monkey ass, spook nigger ass nigga. I could tell you black playing with this character. That monkey wasn't talking shit, I dead ass would have not quit. But this black ass nigger had... <laughs> Excuse my French. This <laughs> this black ass monkey legitimately dead ass was talking shit. He deserved it. The fuck was you talking shit for? Did a fatality the first game, right? Then talking shit like a typical ass ER. These are the type of niggas you don't want what behind you in the ATM. This nigga couldn't even play a game without talking shit. Fucking spook ass motherfucking monkey. It didn't slip out. I wanted to say it. It didn't slip out. I wanted to say it. It didn't slip out. I wanted to say it. It didn't slip out. I wanted to say it. It didn't slip out. I wanted to say it. Bitch ass nigger. So what I didn't get on Lazarus ass for calling you a nigger. That's that's your goddamn fault. Fight your own fucking battles. I'm here to give you advice, not fight for you. He's a boxer, right? You're a strong, big, black man. Handle it yourself. So Donovan did not take this lightly. As a matter of fact, he had a lot to say. Look, 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 look. Here's my encounters with the Uncle Tom. This is the first Uncle Tom that I've had an encounter with in my life. Okay? Everybody that's watching, this is the first Uncle Tom that I had encounters with in my life. I'm talking about somebody that I really knew. So, there's a guy on YouTube that, I'm, that I was cool with. 
right? Thought he was a cool dude. He did have some bitch tendency, though. I mean, he's the kind of guy that cries about video games. He's the kind of guy that throws his phone because he lost a video game match. If you don't know him, look up Low Tier God. Raging. This is the type of guy that rages over a video game. How more immature can you get at 33 years old? This guy's a 33 year old that rages over video games. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, would you want to be a 33 year old that rages over video games? Now here's the thing. Okay, so I'm a moderator. I ban people that talk shit to him in the stream. Right? Okay, he has another moderator. He bans people that talk shit in the stream. So I call this guy out on lying about something. And so the guy calls me a nigger. So I get mad at the dude. I, you know, I say stuff back to the dude, blah, blah, blah. And I ask the uh, guy, low tech guy, why did he ban the guy? And he thinks he's a joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why won't you ban this racist? Why would you allow this racist on your stream? You're really going to allow this guy to call another mod a nigger. Right? He ignores that. So I message him on Twitter. And I ask him again. I say, how could you allow this race to thrive on your stream, right? And um, I was like, I was like, I've been modding for you three years. I've been here longer than this guy. He ignores that for two more days, right? So I'm like, man, this guy's Uncle Tom. So I message him and I tell him how much of a coward that he is, how much of a fucking coward he is, how much of a Uncle Tom that he is. I message him and tell him that shit. And I'm the, I'm the, um, I'm the coon. But let me ask you this, how am I a coon? Because I messaged you twice about some a guy calling me a nigger. You didn't do anything, so I call you a coward and a piece of shit. I'm a coon for that. Do I sag my pants? No. Do I gangbang? No. Do I talk about fucking hoes in this? No. I don't exhibit any characteristics of a coon. Do I complain about my job? No. Unlike you, you're a coward. You're a Uncle Tom. And why are you stalking your shit? Here's the thing, look. While this guy's talking his shit, all this is all I'ma say, man. I'm not the kind of guy that is like the other guys that you try to take advantage of. I'm not like the other guys that you uh that you talk shit about. I won't just sit there and allow you to talk shit like that and not want to fight you. Or not want some type of physical confrontation. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to put your money where your mouth is, okay? I live in Lawton, Oklahoma, right? Currently, I'm doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, well, pretty much I'm doing MMA. But my focus right now is on BJJ right now. But I still go to the boxing gym. I boxed for eight years. I did wrestling in high school. So this is, this is what I'm going to tell you. You can come out here to Lawton, Oklahoma. We can go to any gym out here. And I'm talking about fighting gym. We can go to one of my old boxing gyms, Bad Boys Boxing and Fitness, Lawton, Oklahoma. Or we can go to my, my BJJ place and we can roll. Or we can we can do a street fight too. We can we can even street fight. That's the thing. We can even street fight. Since you want to run your mouth and talk all that shit. Since you want to run your mouth and talk all that shit. That's all I'm going to say to you. Stop running your fucking mouth, bitch. Okay? You bitch. Stop running your mouth, you little hoe. Or I'll slap you around and make you my bitch. Stop running your mouth. That's all I'm going to say. Stop running your mouth. I'm not like these other dudes, okay? I'm not going to allow you to talk all that shit and not do nothing about it. I'm telling you, I will pick you up, slam you on your fucking neck, and choke you out to make your girlfriend watch. Make your girlfriend watch, okay? I will beat your ass and fuck you up and make her watch. Because I'm pretty sure she's going to come with you. So stop running your mouth, okay? Low tier God, since he was talking shit, saying that he can outlift me, outdo this, outdo that. This is a gym challenge to you, low tier God, since she was talking that shit again. So let's just settle like men, since we can't fight because you don't want to fight. I offered you to fight two months ago, you didn't want to fight. So let's just do a gym challenge. She's talking shit about my lifts and shit. I only been lifting eight months, but I still feel like I'm superior to you. You've been looking for it what three four five years something like that if you accept this challenge on april the 6th post a video of your max squat and your max deadlift i've seen this dude's video like your, your fucking tv don't even have a stand what the fuck does that have to do with anything focus on being a father you're so focused on another man you can't even properly be a motherfucking father you can't even get a tv stand that's what i'm saying man 
this oh, I fucked up giving these uh giving these trolls too much too much power. So Dale's only response was blatant deflection. Clearly Dale saw how confident Donovan was in his abilities that he chose to try and roast him and hope and pray that Donovan would forget about him. Low tier coward. Yo, check this out. Next up is LX Dark Sniper. Now, LX is a content creator that would make videos of his gameplay such as Killer Instinct, Madden, and Fight Night. He would rage and trash talk while playing them, which led people to comment that his style was like that of Dale. That's how we first learned about him. As LX would watch more of Dale's content, he realized that he was becoming too much like Dale, and he didn't want to be like that. Especially after all the people that Dale has disrespected, from family to disabled people, to his own race, and he elaborates it well in this video. Let me explain clearly why this video is being made. It is because after this show of respect, low tier God repaid me with disrespect. And that's just something that you do not do. It was then when I realized that while I may go a bit too far sometimes in my content, if I continue to go further down that rabbit hole, what I'll turn into is a sociopathic, pathological, racist traitor. In other words, I turn into low tier God. And when I ask myself this question, what would I rather be? Low tier God? Or I'd rather be LX Sniper? And living inside the skin of that man would be the worst nightmare of my life. You got to screenshot shit like this. I'm not about to drop no video on this nigga or anything like that because it's pointless. The nigga's a worthless monkey. Hold on a sec. Go to the folder called Ape. You could probably watch me jacking out to me right now. <laughs> you give a fuck about what another nigga say about me? I'm doing this for y'all. I don't lose no sleep over these niggas. All right, give me a sec. All right. All right, first of all, let me show you guys what he looks like. Like I said, any nigga that's a, a grown-ass man that's not a professional fighter, not a professional wrestler, walking around holding a championship belt, you know for a fact they got something mentally wrong with him. For a fact. Look at this nigga. Big Stark Sniper. Don't take it personal, man. I'm just talking some shit. He says, don't take it personal. I'm just talking some shit. I said, you tripping, bro. I said, find your own lane. I won't entertain this childish ass shit. I said, you niggas in parentheses try to stay replicate me or some shit. It's creepy. I spelled creepy wrong because I was 224 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Probably just let off the hot ivory or something. I don't fucking know. I, I you know, I have the gym every day and shit. Um, he says, fair enough. I have no problem giving credit where it's due. But... I have my own style of doing things. I say, you tripping, bruh. Blah, blah, blah. Find your own lane with this childish shit. Oh, yeah, I already said that shit. I guess it's a different screenshot. Okay, I just screenshot the bottom. You said it, but if you want if you want to show that kind of hostility towards someone that is giving you nothing but respect, you're giving me no other choice but to bring the fight to you if we cross paths in any fighting game. Good day, sir. I said I'm straight off you, bruh. Get off my dick, sir. Just another typical ass nigga in America. Blocked. I will beat the fucking dog shit out of your ugly black ass. Where the fuck's this nigga even? Stay. I'm telling you, niggas be bothering me for no fucking reason. It's not even entertaining. I didn't go to this nigga's channel. I'm just saying you niggas keep asking me about this shit. I don't even know what the fuck the deal is. This nigga just came at me out of the woodworks at 2.24 in the morning, riding dick, and because I didn't give him what he wanted, now he got this fake fabricated cloud of beef. Get the fuck off my dick, black man, and go do something productive with yourself, coon. I haven't fought a hater, but I've physically fought people plenty of times in my life. Think I'd be this confident with no hands? Come on. Later, getting ready to whoop your punk ass. 
You want to find out where I'm at? I'm in Truth to Consequences, New Mexico, bitch nigga. You can come meet me in the middle of the desert, and I promise to God I'll bury your bitch ass alive, bitch. You want to walk around talking about you walk with, with two dictionaries in your hands? Well, bitch nigga, I walk around with these two hands, and that's all I need. So if you want to go ahead and you want this smoke for real, come meet me in Truth and Consequences, New Mexico, bitch. Or keep my name out your fucking mouth. Of course, Dale's only method of fighting is trying to roast LX, but Dale did ask where he stayed at. Well, after LX gave Dale a location where he could be found, obviously Dale refused to acknowledge LX anymore. Just your typical online coward. So Demigod is another YouTube content creator that had a run-in with Dale. It started with the match of Tekken that Demigod had paid for, and it went about as well as you'd expect. Dale was so heated after the match that he told Demigod to just charge back the money. So Demigod did. Now here's where things really begin. Shortly after, Dale was on stream and watched a video of Ronnie McNutt where he took his own life and laughed at it. <laughs> this did not sit well with Demigod, and he gave his thoughts on the whole ordeal. So this was me keeping it a buck fifty. LTD didn't like what I said, but I don't give a Fuck, I don't care what you like. As a real ass nigga commenting on a situation, I said what I said, and I stand by it. What you did to Ronnie was fucked up laughing at him. Not only that, nigga, if you'd have just own up saying, oh, I'm not sorry, I'm not sorry. All right, I laugh, so what? I don't feel bad about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sorry. Niggas still would have had amount of, uh, 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 it, it, it would have been like fucked up, but niggas would still be like, all right, Damn, at least he's, he stood by what he said. But what do you do? You lied about it saying, no, well, I was watching Tom and Jerry. And all I did was call you out for it. That's all I did. And what did you do? You lied to your little, <laughs> you lied to your little, um, your little cult members saying that I was just clout chasing. I was just this big clout chaser. Now here's where Dale is just Dale and runs his mouth and he can't just shut up. He makes videos on subjects where he has little to no knowledge of, yet gets mad when others make videos on him. So Dale proceeds to try and childishly roast Demigod, but Demigod is not a person to take that kind of disrespect. And what ensued was a beef between the two, and Demigod did have the last word for a while because Dale was obviously mentally fatigued. But with the beef dying out, Dale must have realized that the clout was also dying out. So to revive this, Dale responded to Demigod on a livestream three whole weeks after the fact at 2am pacific time and said he would fight Demigod. Demigod then livestreamed to address the situation the following day. And this made Dale get off of his part-time job at GNC early just to rush home and livestream from his echo chamber where only his yes men would be able to type in his chat and agree with whatever lies Dale tells them. Dale put up a stipulation that Demigod had to put up $10,000 to fight him and Demigod had to meet Dale in his home city, yet never accepted to be on a Discord call with Demigod and privated his Twitter after getting ratioed hard. Just goes to show you how much of a coward Dale really is, hiding behind a fan base and putting up stipulations to make it seem like he's on top. When really, he's afraid to accept this challenge like a man without any paywall, without any excuses. It's like every time I move on, cause he saw my um, Apex video, every time I move on, he wants, to, he wants to start up the beef again. Christ, he did it before. Dog, remember when I made my fucking video saying, my last video on LTG, then he gets mad and, at this point, Dale, you need me more than I need you. I heard how you say, now go make another video, bitch. You want me to keep making vids on you. I saw that your views last night were low, dog. I, 393? Nigga, you're usually at 800, 700, 900. Hell, one time I think it was over 1,000. You need me, Dale. So that's why I'm a stream about you respond then take it down 
and then I'm gonna stream some Tekken or uh, Apex or uh, Street Fighter Five, baby. I haven't made a video geared to this nigga, not counting the stream, in three weeks. 21 days. I'm not wasting my fucking time on you. What? So do accept your fucking challenge so you can go on Facebook and punk out like a bitch again? I'm not even wasting my fucking time with you, bum. Fight LX Dark Sniper first, then I may consider fucking b battling you. But nah, nigga, you's a waste of fucking time. Ain't nobody fucking scared of you. You're scared of Sniper. You're scared of Donovan Hunt. And you only threatening me because I called out comedically how I noticed you didn't do it. So now you're trying to impress your fucking crowd, pussy. If you want to schedule a fight, let's talk about it. Let's get on Discord and let's talk right now. Fuck this Twitter shit. Explain. I'm asking a question, Dale. I find it odd how you want to fight me. And I'm not fucking scared of you. If you want to fight me so bad, come up here. But anyways, let's get on Discord. I want to talk to you. Why is it that you're afraid of fighting Donovan Hunt? That you're afraid of fighting LX Dark Sniper? You got to understand. This makes you look bad in the long run, nigga. Damn, girl. That's been literally waking waking up to stream about me. Nigga, you was talking about me 3 o'clock at night when I was asleep, bitch. Shut up, victim. He's such a fucking bitch victim. Nigga, if you want to smoke that bad, let's get on fucking Discord, bitch. Get on Discord, pussy. Don't run. Look at this little sissy ass motherfucker running to Twitter, bitch. He did not just private his Twitter. No, he didn't. Dog. No, no, no. Twitter. Wow. This nigga wants to fight me, but he private in his Twitter. Oh, clip this shit now. Clip it now, please. Oh, he private in his fucking Twitter. Mentally untouchable. He challenges me to a fight, got mad that we clipped it. Now that I'm addressing it, he ran like a bitch. This is the dude who wants to fight me? <laughs> you little bitch. You got exposed for being a bitch. Your mom is a bitch. Your dad is a bitch. Your whole family line are bitches. Now keep my fucking name out your mouth and don't you ever sneak this me again, pussy. Demi God, nigga. Keep my fucking dick out your mouth, bitch. Now hold this fucking L, son. Don't you ever talk on me again after this. He said 50K not enough. Sniper said he'll come to you, nigga. What's up? Now, the reason I didn't add any of Dale's live stream is because it's your typical coward stream, where he didn't address any of Demigod's points and instead talked about Demigod's appearance, his chair, his dresser, wristbands, you know, everything but the topic at hand. And even when LX makes an appearance saying he would take the fight and do it for $50,000, Dale remarks that that is not enough. And this is after trying to make fun of Alex's boxing skills. This just goes to show you what kind of a man Dale really is. Baby! Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. You already know what time it is, huh? Castle King side, baby. Come on, love. Alright, do it Boy's gonna hit this 405 for reps. You understand me? Huh? Now this is Castle King's side. Don't be put off by his size, he's actually a really cool dude, kind of a gentle giant, and he's personally cool with me. Kingside worked as a bouncer for 20 plus years and he also does very insightful videos on YouTube. So where did Kingside and Dale cross paths? Well, it was in a game of Mortal Kombat. 
and afterwards Kingside looked him up and did think that Dale was a cool guy. He liked the whole villain persona that Dale seemed to portray. But after learning more about Dale, shouts out to SOS for exposing him, he realized that Dale wasn't just playing a villain, he was an internet bully, picking on those he believed to be inferior, those he believed won't fight back, and Kingside definitely did not like that. Now who did Dale bully online that got Kingside to set his sights on him? One of those random players that body Dale relentlessly online? Or perhaps another content creator? Nope, this goes farther back. It was because Dale made fun of Broly Legs. So I had to call up my boy like, hey yo, who is this dude? Is this is this LTG dude? Is he really a, a, a villain? For real? And he's like, yeah, he's a real villain. And I'm just like, are you serious? I just got through talking good about this dude because I thought he was cool. But no, it turns out low tier guy is a fucking, man, he's a bully. Oh, he's a villain, man. And I got played, man, because I thought he was a cool dude. Cause he, that's how he portrayed himself on the show. This dude, when I first met him, um, I played on um, MKX. I played him on M MKX. That's where I first met this cat. And then I, I, um, I watched that show. I watched that one show, um, where he was, um, playing against Rob TV, that reality show. You know what I'm talking about? And he seemed like a cool dude to me. I thought he was cool. Cause look, I thought he was just, um, playing a part, like, you know, kind of, um, like some kind of, like a boogie, you know, like boogie 2988. I thought he was doing something like that where he's like an alternate ego. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I thought his alter alternate ego was that like that cocky, arrogant jerk dude. I thought that's what it was. Because when when um when Rob TV handed the dude his ass cheeks, he was cool. He was respectful. He didn't get up in the dude's face like, whoa. I did some more research on low tier God and he's a straight douchebag. Damn, this motherfucker be maybe on some bullshit, huh? How the fuck are you gonna make fun of Brody legs like that, homie? Damn, you fucked up for that, bro. You're you're wrong for that shit, man. Cause the man can't he can't get up and sock you in the face. That's why you're wrong for saying shit like that to him. Like that. You know, like... The man plays with his mouth, man. How are you going to try to talk shit about him? He can't punch you in the face. He can only hand you those ass cheeks online, virtually, as Chun-Li. That's what I saw that he did to you. He handed you your ass cheeks... As Chun Li online, and you couldn't t you couldn't hold the L, you couldn't take it, you had to leave, you had to get up out of there. It's just that people like LTG like to pick on people who um, he thinks he can dominate physically in a street fight. That's why he calls them out. Or oh, 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 if anybody has anything to say, come see me in real life. <laughs> okay. Low tier guy's got like a cult following. He's got a few loyal Looney Tune followers. <clears throat> huh, think about it. Low tier God has some Looney Tune ass followers. They're in a cult. It's like, hey, y'all can't see that low tier's a bitch? Yet you guys hug up on his nuts? He cheats you guys like slaves. He cheats you guys like slaves. That's what the low tier God does. He disrespects his own people. He disrespects the people that work with him. That's the clear sign, red flag of a tyrant. Am I wrong? You got to see me in a fight. You have to see me fight. You know what? That's a good idea. How about we arrange a one-on-one -on -one versus Kai 
Crystal motherfucking Deepside versus LTG. LTG, quit ducking me. <laughs> quit ducking me. Talk to me. I'm right here. Low tier God versus Castle Kingside for real. <laughs> Fuck your Street Fighter 5 shit. Complaining about everything. I can't believe it. I thought you were cool. But no, you're a bitch. I can't believe how much of a bitch you are. I've heard you speak. You're evil. You're really evil for saying the shit that you're saying. Look at me. Dale. My name is David James Poesi. I live in Riverside, California. I'm a real motherfucker. <laughs> and I heard you live in California too. So if you want to be a little bitch. Then put up a time. Put up a time and place. And we can get this shit cracking. And that's how you know you're a bitch. You ain't about that life. You ain't about that life. You say on your bio you're a singer. You ain't about that life. You say you're, you're a kickboxer. You ain't about that life. You say you're going to slap the shit out of somebody in real life. You, you really ain't about that life. You don't want to see me. I will, I will body you. Needless to say, when Dale is presented with somebody like Castle Kingside, which clearly intimidates Dale, he cowers away and avoids even speaking about him out of fear. And if you don't believe me, Castle Kingside's name can't even be mentioned in Dale's chat, or else you risk getting banned. Hell, just recently Dale posted this in his Discord, a screenshot that Dale took from an email he received from none other than Castle Kingside himself. Now, you see, instead of responding to Kingside, or addressing it on his stream openly like he has with others that have talked about fighting him, he ran to his Discord to tell his cult about the email, away from the public eye, and didn't reply to Kingside at all. Tell us you're a coward without telling us you're a coward, Dale. The name for myself in the street, homie. I'm a 100% certified in the street, homie. Believe that. Believe that shit. You understand? Like, I don't need fucking low tier guys, bitch. I'll fucking slap the shit out of low tier guys. I'll beat the fuck out of that motherfucker. You understand me? I'll body slam that motherfucker. I'll drop on his fucking head. You, you get me? Alright, now this is where it gets quite personal. As most of the Discord community knows, I have a younger brother, Trevor Belmont. Shouts out to Trevor Belmont and shouts out to Discord SOS. Now, we were never active trolls at all. We would watch various streamers raging compilations here and there, and around early 2020 we saw a video by Cropcat, the brilliant fighting game community. Which is how we first encountered Dale as a streamer. Yet somehow Dale believes that watching a video in 2020 that was made in 2015 about an event in 2014 means that you've been active since then. I don't know, old head logic I guess. Guy's an absolute idiot with his false narratives. Anyways, while watching amazing and hilarious troll videos that are transformative content and completely fall under fair use, Trevor took notice that Dale's a habitual liar and his most prominent lies are that his name is not Dale Wilson and that nobody knows his birthday. So Trevor made an insightful video showing that Elena herself revealed what his birthday is as well as another video later on proving that Dale was born in 1984. But you gotta remember too, we're both Scorpios on top of everything. Like her birthday is literally a day before mine. Yeah, my birthday is 18th because it was the 19th. Talking. Are you kids calling you an old ass dude? You guys are the same age. You guys are the same age. Bro, he hurt by some. Well, I actually, know. you guys are like months apart, months apart, but you guys are born in the same year, so. For those of you that, that really are so fascinated with my government name, yes, my government name is Dale Wilson. Obviously, Dale Wilson did not like this, not one bit, and flagged the video and used the information provided in the counterclaim to dox and spread false narratives about Trevor and myself. Then when you counterclaim too, it shows your actual address in your name too. So this is a dude that claims he lives in Los Angeles. So this nigga stalking me, I could easily just go deliver some mail. That nigga put his phone number down and his complete address. Let's map it. You should see this nigga's crib. Hold on, let me pull it up. You're like nigga, you stay an hour and 12 minutes away from me. This is what a troll's house looks like. This is what a tear sexual's house looks like. 
you know how easy it is for me to drive to LA, go into some nigga's office that wants a quick five hundred to a thousand dollars off me to put something on you. You do realize when you counterclaim your address and everything pops up where I'm able to see where you live, right? And you this nigga put all of his shit there. And then it happens. Luckily for me, it's very close. Now, me personally, I would have thought this nigga was a hard worker. I mean, me growing up around Mexicans, me with Mexicans rescuing me when I was out on the street. Your whole wardrobe is retro video game shirts, retro anime shirts. What I'm saying, let's see what this guy said. I'm pretty sure he's DMing me a little bit more. So let's use one of Dale's favorite words. It's alluded, alluded, that alluded, alluded things, alluding. Trying to allude, allude, you're alluding, you're alluding, you're alluding to. So Dale alluded to doxing by showing a property on stream. Then when I messaged him on Instagram confronting him, he then showed pictures of myself believing it to be Trevor and attempted to roast me and created a false narrative yet again with the DMs on IG, which I still have a record of showing the truth. But that's besides the point. Look, Dale, it's not my fault that you're a broke fuck that can't afford a property, let alone multiple. Have you ever even seen the deed to a property? You accuse us of taking pics of your shitty V4 charger, yet you yourself have plotted out made up shit for clout like rocks leaking your shitty I am legend acting reel. So you could have had any of your brain dead followers or even your roommate DT take that picture. In your sad attempt to try to roast me, you had no material, desperately looking for your typical fat and ugly jokes. But here you had nothing. And don't try to backtrack now, Dale. You tried three separate times over the course of a year and failed to come up with anything at all. A good roast is 15 minutes, right? The thing about a good roast is it's nothing over 15 minutes. And 15 is pushing it. If you got good material, you don't need 30 minutes to try to do it. And the first time you were so stumped, you started bashing your own race. I never met a Mexican or knew of a Mexican that wasn't a hard worker and didn't waste idle time. Black people, we do that shit. I see niggas outside burning idle time all the time. You know, you go outside and you'll see niggas like just smoking and doing nothing for hours and hours. Nigga, I'll go to work, come home, see the same nigga outside smoking a blunt when I leave, come back, the nigga's still sitting out there smoking a blunt. You know what? I get it, Dale. You're jealous. You don't own any properties and have to rent an apartment with a roommate. I've got perfect teeth and you got a natural ass tooth trying to escape your mouth that you have to hide in your pictures because you're insecure as fuck. I can actually grow a full beard while your beard looks like it's trying to play a game of Tetris. Your bottom lip looks like a sideways ass cheek. You photoshop your pictures because your age is getting to you. You said I have no style but my wardrobe is far better than just wearing endless Under Armour shirts or shitty Covenant merchandise. As for why I'm not on camera at this moment, well it's because I'd rather not have you or your cult drooling over me checking me out on stream like you've done before. You're mad fucking sus Dale. Always making everything out to be gay. You're definitely so far deep in the closet that you're e-begging for donations from the citizens of Narnia. But that's all besides the point. You see, here's the thing Dale. You talk shit behind the safety of your streams. You made eluded threats to my family saying you deliver mail or pay someone to do it for you. And for that you are a fucking coward. You've seen what I look like. That's why you didn't threaten me directly. You know for a fucking fact that I would fold you like a lawn chair if you saw me in person. I don't fear you in any way shape or form. So stop hiding behind your streams, sitting in your echo chamber like a pussy, grow some fucking balls, man the fuck up, and say whatever the fuck you have to say to my face, you fucking coward. Lastly, we have Salodon. Now, I've talked to Salodon personally on multiple occasions. He's a great friend. So what better way to tell his story than from the man himself? I need to make this clear, I never challenged Low Tier God to a fight. Rather, Dale has privately emailed me numerous threats to kick my ass or kill me over the past year. The most recent one came in the middle of September after I uploaded a video commenting on him posting revenge porn on Twitter. He reiterated that he would kick my ass on sight if he ever saw me. It just so happened that I was going on a business trip to his town of Los Angeles the following week when he sent that email. So I politely accepted and offered to go to an MMA gym with him so he could have his viral moment kicking a troll's ass legally and safely. He responded by blocking and reporting me on Twitter, reporting all of my YouTube videos including those that had nothing to do with him, demanding I pay him 50k for the fight he wanted, and telling his band of mentally ill loyalists that I was clout chasing him. At his behest, the Covenant is now spreading my docs that he forwarded them for me counterclaiming his videos. All this because I committed the crime of saying yes when he said he wanted to kick my ass. 
I don't think Dell is a dangerous person in and of himself. He clearly knows he can't fight despite his pathetic blustering to the contrary. But he is dangerous in that he enables and encourages his base of mentally ill, unfulfilled, and hateful men such as Ray Lazarus to dox and threaten with fire on his opposition. It's the same thing he did to June the King and it's the highest form of cowardice. Yeah, so Dale called out Don and Don accepted and even gave him options. So Dale resorted to setting stipulations. After Don accepted the stipulations, once again Dale resorted to blocking Don out of sheer cowardice. It's very apparent that Dale feared Don and exhausted all of his fear tactics, which were attempted intimidation, setting stipulations, and finally hiding like a coward. Now, Dale isn't the only person that has challenged Sallow. Lazarus did as well. Now, Laz worships Dale like a god and defends him like if his life depends on it. Now, I don't want to spend so much time on this pathetic cuck because frankly, Laz isn't intimidating. Like, at all. Look at him, he looks like he came straight out of Grandma's boy. Laz is just like his coward lord, all bark and no bite. He will only threaten over the internet, leak docs information over the dark web, and have an internet tough guy persona while being built like a sack of potatoes. He went on to make a video to challenge Saladon to a fight. I bet you anything right now, if I was to even pay your way, which I'm not going to do that, you say that you'll pay it. But I bet if I was to pay your fucking way, you wouldn't come here at all. We know that you won't, bitch. If you, if you happen to win or beat me, that's good for you. You can't do it though. Of course not. <laughs> you're not gonna be. Able, you're not gonna be able to touch me, dude. That's a guarantee. Fucking tea. You need to contact me via Twitter, Ray. Please contact me via Twitter, and uh, we can work something out. Because I'd love to have one amateur fight before I die, just to cross it off my bucket list. And if it's someone that I'm emotionally invested in fighting, so be it. I would love that all the more. But I'd also like to uh, put some stipulations, Mr. Lazarus. That is, I want to, uh, actually, I want to put some stakes on it. Let's make it interesting. Ray Lazarus, if you defeat me in a legally sanctioned mixed martial arts fight, I will delete my YouTube account. I will never speak of Dell again. I will never speak of you again. And you will have effectively deleted one of the presently most significant trolls against your man, Dell. By beating him in a fight. However, Ray, if I win, you have to stop being Dale's friend, you have to stop being Dale's fan, and you have to become a fan of me. I want you on my side, Ray. I want you as my enforcer, man. You're tough. You're scary. You scare the shit out of people. People see you and they walk across the street because they're afraid of you and that goatee of yours. They know that you will fuck them up just for looking at them wrong. And that's what I need on my team, baby. I want you in the Saladon monkey barrel. So if I beat you, if I defeat you, you got to be my man. You got to be my right hand. You got to be my enforcer. You got to be my brute. How's that sound, Ray? So far, nothing has come of this. Laz made another video where he rants about a fake profile and says that he's provided a phone number and email to which there is no proof of anywhere in the comment sections or elsewhere while Salo Don told him to contact them via Twitter, which Laz refuses to do. And to finish up, Laz posted one last video where he addresses Salo Don, but he quickly removes it off YouTube. It's okay, we caught the screenshot. Nice try, Laz. I guess you and Dale are more alike than we thought. Y'all think, hey look, and here's something too. Here's something too for your master, his broke ass. Ready, ready? How much you want? How much you want? This is all casino money, baby. How much, how much Dale want? How much does he want broke ass? I guarantee you covering niggas broke as shit. And this all gown money too. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing, G. If you niggas think this is money, this ain't... Come on now, come on now. Hey, Dale, you bitch ass nigga. You niggas wanna be about it? Pull up then. Pull up, bitches. Y'all thought y'all thought it was through internet, huh? Pull up then. We'll see what the fuck's up. Till next time, though, gang, tap in. I'll be here in Vegas on Monday, and now I'll be back home in Phoenix. Back home in Phoenix, Arizona, bitch, on Monday. You know what time it is. Brr, peace out, gang. Have a good Merry Christmas and Covenant. I'm here, baby. Come touch me. <laughs> you need to touch shit. I'll tell you. And Lazarus, bitch ass nigga. I wish you fucking would, pussy. Now, I wanted to point out a few things that the community has taken note of. What do most of these characters have in common? That's right, practically all of them are zoners. Dale purposely picks zoning characters because he fears being close to his opponent. He prefers to spam out his opponent and avoid close combat at all costs. Always backing away into a corner, not facing his opponent's head on. You know, he has said you are how you play in video games, and that's definitely a coward's way to play. 
Additionally, he will also flat out refuse to play matches, sometimes quitting after just one round, claiming people are stream sniping, using characters he doesn't like, or using characters he picks. Hell, even just doing a move destroys Dale's ability to continue. Another gay ass nigga watching his intro. Off pants nigga, shut the fuck up! It's the same old fucking shit! God damn! These niggas are frauds, dude! Nobody wanna sit there and block the same shit for three, four fucking seasons! You niggas ain't talented! I'm talented! Bitch ass niggas play the same fucking characters over and over again! That shit ain't skill! Any nigga in here that thinks that skill, tell me! And I'm banning your ass! Fifty niggas online playing the same character doing the same shit. And I gotta hold that. Fuck a video game. I'm not playing no fucking mirror match in this game, right? I don't know what the fuck is up with gaming creators. You dumbass. Let me tell you something. You dumbass niggas that created Namco, your fucking retards. Capcom, your fucking retards. You dumbass niggas, right? Make it so that I can see who the fuck I am playing before I press ready on my game. I don't want to have to play the same niggas every time I cut on the game I pay for. Put the option back in games. See, what Dale's single digit IQ mind fails to realize is that the reason why ranked games don't allow you to see your opponent before you ready up is to prevent boosting. They will always match players up with opponents relative to their skill level. For Street Fighter, Dale has like 20 plus tags that are hard stuck in Platinum or Diamond, and will never grace Master and above. The reason being, that's where his ability is maxed out. That's why he runs into mainly those same level players. In Tekken, he's hard stuck on green and low yellow ranks. Again, because that's the plateau of his skill. Smash doesn't count at all, because he only plays against paid sandbaggers that are afraid to try in fear of getting banned. As for Dale saying he's only using 2% of his skill, that's just a defense mechanism that he uses to fool himself into believing that he possesses some form of higher skill. Even though it's very clear that Dale is trying his hardest in every match, especially when he goes silent and is extremely focused, to try and prevent himself from being embarrassed on a video game. Then there's the single player games. Now, people could play games however they want to, but when you claim to be great at games saying you could pick up any game and be godlike, yet use save states, cheat codes, or save wizards, well that's just sad as fuck. With examples such as Unlimited Ammo in The Evil Within and Resident Evil, Infinite Stasis in Dead Space, Unlimited Experience in Final Fantasy, and constant save states in Paperboy and every Castlevania and Mega Man game. What's even more pathetic is the instances where Dale cheats and still couldn't beat the game. Yes, that's actually happened. In Final Fantasy, Dale cheated to get to level 99 and the game restarted him after beating an unbeatable encounter where you have to lose. In Resident Evil 8, Dale had unlimited ammo and still lost to Heisenberg because the game was on a difficulty harder than easy. On Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Dale couldn't beat Senator Armstrong, and that was on easy mode even after having unlocked unlimited resources. There's also the time that Dale tried to cheat in Sekiro getting unlimited resources and still couldn't beat the game. Even playing online King of Fighters 2002, Dale resorts to using boss characters that are broken and overpowered online. So much for not taking the easy way out and always working for everything in life. More importantly, so much for being low tier god. Given Dale's inflated ego, he believes himself to be some powerful final boss and that all others are beneath him. Pictures himself like Mr. X from Streets of Rage, having his underlings fight off the heroes while he sits back comfortably in his chair, until finally he sees the heroes as a worthy challenge and gets up off the chair and is the toughest enemy in the game. The reality is, Dale is nowhere near the final boss he believes himself to be. He may bark out orders calling for other people to fight his battle for him, or make his opponents take on a 2 on 1 match against himself and another player, but that just shows Dale's afraid to have a fair fight when he knows he can't win under normal circumstances. He lacks the courage and skills to overcome his opponent. Dale actually does remind me more of another boss in a different beat em up game however. Could it be Machine Gun Wily from Double Dragon? No, he actually has the balls to come out and fight, albeit also with the gun, and since Dale's a felon, it can't be him. What about Gideon from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game? Hmm, God Angel Gene? 
ultra strong boss with many forms? Yeah, that sounds like all the qualities that Dale doesn't have, so it can't be him either. Now I remember, it's gotta be the premiere for Mother Russia Bleeds. Yeah, that guy. Him right there. This guy encompasses Dale completely. An old man, cowering behind a desk while his lackeys try and take out the heroes, and he constantly tries to escape mid-fight, all while screaming and swearing. Anyone else seen the similarities? Look at this man. I'll get his ass a whoop. Slide around in those old ass Harachis. <laughs> this man hopping and sliding around his damn store in these old ass Harachis. <laughs> Person actually, his stream probably think that's really him when that's really not the person he is. I'm not even saying anything bad. I'm just telling the truth. Would be my fighting style. I don't know. Something just got like to where I'm just like, who, yeah, like telekinesis or some shit. Where I don't even have to touch you. I just throw beams like shit like that. You not putting hands on that one. Tell me that again, dude. <laughs> what you gonna do? Regardless of Dale's ability to fight or lack thereof, which in this case here is the biggest reason why Dale won't fight, and he projects it constantly, he doesn't know how to fight, and it's blatantly clear that he's never been in one. When your ex says you ain't putting hands on no one, we all know that that's code for sit your ass down because you know you'd get your ass beat. Also, did anybody catch that threat to Elena? See, that's where Laz gets it from. If Dale knew how to fight, he would have already. He's had plenty of chances to do so, but he knows he lacks the ability and courage. So that's why he avoids it at all costs. And remember, Dale has previously been utterly humiliated in person many times. I don't even know why we're having this match, except for the fact that he keeps using my name and then he keeps ducking me. I mean, if you're gonna talk shit, then don't duck. If you're gonna talk, then back it up. If you're gonna be a bitch, then run like a bitch. This isn't about me being good. It's about him being trash. He's free rolling this. That's a bitch move. He said I wouldn't call him that to his face. Wherever you are, you're a bitch. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> bitch! Come here, bitch! <laughs> bitch! Say, say it to my face right now. Leave it for the game! Alright, alright! Alright, 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 alright! I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say. So, there's going to come a point when you forget about what happened. And you're going to want to come back at me. And you're going to want to wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. Uh, I still want to show America that there's only one content creator that can really play this damn game. Ooh. So me and Lotier got it. Oh, no. Lotier got him, Lotier. No. no. The person that you picked yeah. wow mm -hmm. well you know just to be clear you know you said you know you haven't traveled to us a lot of tournaments yeah but you know i've been up there on the stage and you know i have i've caught bodies up there with whole i don't care you know i've been to detroit Yumacon, alucard all those dudes footwork all them yelling down my neck what did i do i bodied them i got up i walked off and i finished it in the end of the day nec and all that Second place. I don't know if you have you got a top eight at a major, don't answer that. But with that being the case, you know, I've gotten second there, just got ninth at KIT, and that's four majors I've been to total. So that tournament experience right there, I'm telling you, is gonna come back to haunt you right now. And even if you are completely comfortable, I'm just better than you. <laughs> Said guilty takes it over LTG, lifts him up off the ground, uh, asserting her dominance. Did you have to come on here like a like a bitch? Did you have to come on my Facebook like a punk ass motherfucker? Who the fuck do you think I am? You fucking go on Facebook. Do you think and I'm talk a bitch? On, you go on do you think I'm a Facebook. bitch? Yes, I fucking do. Did you want to square up? Is that want what you want to do? What the fuck do you want to do? So tell me, LTG, how does it feel knowing that like the entire SoCal FGC seed and doesn't want to play you? I mean, are they afraid of you? What's going on? That's exactly what the fuck they are. They're afraid of me for the simple fact that you lose all credibility for losing to me. So let's take that logic that Dale gave on why he believes people refuse to play him in a game. Dale says that people are afraid of losing to him and being exposed. That's projection to the highest degree, and projection is something Dale tends to do a lot. 
So in reality, Dale is afraid of the worst and in this case most possible scenario, and that is being exposed in person yet again. Being absolutely folded by a troll would mentally destroy Dale, and it would utterly discredit all the claims that Dale has ever made, and that internet tough guy persona would be exposed as a fallacy. Even Dale's fans would see Dale for what he is, a pathological liar and a fraud. Besides, Dale has already been mentally defeated countless times by the immensely talented content creators that have exposed him, trolled him, and transformed his content into something that's actually entertaining to watch. And that's something that no matter how hard Dale tries, he can't stop. Dale takes L's virtually every day. Couldn't fathom the thought of taking a physical defeat, especially from somebody that he considers a troll. And that sad reality is, Dale knows it would happen. That's why he spews bullshit and threats from the safety of his echo chamber. And as the man that took Elena away from you said, Emotionally weak. That's like an emotionally weak man. That's who talks like that. Speak your facts, baby! You know, you gotta stop talking like a dumbass. Like, you know? Because eventually you're gonna say something that you want to answer for. And that's exactly why Dale stopped speaking bad on Elena. Out of straight fear. On the surface, Dale may put on the persona of a tough guy, but through that terrible acting, it's clear to see. Dale, you are what you claim to hate. Just another online coward.